Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to do an update on the last uh, recently concluded uh, WooCommerce, um, you know, tutorial that I did some weeks back. Okay, so um, I, I want to walk my way back to an issue that we had where we had this button, okay, and our custom button had this, um, you know, prizes labeled here. So what we did was um, we used the CSS to hide this prize. Okay, so I'm just going to hit this to bring out the inspection panel. So uh, I'm going to hover on this, okay? So let me look for the parent of that and activate the hover. All right, so what we did was we tried to, you know, target this to make it to display none, all right? Okay, so what we are looking for is this WooCommerce price amount, okay? The price amount. And uh, we, we had a class like um, that, you know, if I say display none, you see that goes, okay? So this and this have the same class, okay? So now the problem was this dash was still remaining. And the reason is that the dash here doesn't have, you know, any HTML tag. Consequently, it doesn't have any class. So there was no way to use a CSS to remove this. There's just no way to target this with a CSS because there is no HTML tag. There is no select of any kind. So what we ended up doing was to um, use a snippet called remove price range okay when we turn that on now if i'm if i'm gonna i'm gonna just enable that css that we just edited here on my style sheet okay all right so i'm gonna enable that save that once we refresh this now that goes away okay but the problem is Okay, I made a mistake that I copied this also. So let me just do that. All right, so now the problem is, the problem we're having here is that the dash here, okay, um, is gone also, you know. Now, it, it doesn't affect uh, the the single product page, okay. It's, it's still here, but here on the archive page it goes. So, so during the tutorial, I couldn't figure out, you know, how to resolve that. But after giving it a thought, okay, I was able to resolve that. I went back to the snippet, okay, uh, where we have removed the price range. What I noticed is this. Now, what we are doing is that we are replacing, okay, the dash with an empty string. That's what we are basically doing, you know, on the front end. So where you have a dash, you replace it with an empty string. So um, what if we replace it with an actual html you know element that would be better so we can you know we can um, target it with the css okay so what i did was instead of replacing it with an empty string i thought okay we can replace it with a span okay and then just have that dash and then and that's it okay so i'm going to save this and then i'm going to go back to the front end and refresh and then that comes back in, but of course it reintroduces it here. But now we have an HTML tag here. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, you know, this again. Okay. And then I'm going to select that element. So you can see now it has an HTML tag, you know, so we can target this and then remove it. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to target this, you know, this, um, Let's go back to the style sheet. So instead of, you know, saying this, this display none, okay, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just target the whole, let me, let me comment this out. Okay. So I'm going to comment uh, this. I'm going to comment this. Sorry. So I'm going to comment that CSS out, okay? And then I'm going to say the add to cart inline span display none, okay? Now, notice that um, the, the price also, okay, was a span, okay? This price was also a span. So um, add to cart inline is the parent, okay? So, so the whole parent, I'm telling the whole parent, everything that is a span, that means both that price that was showing here, okay, and... Uh, and the dash, okay, both of them will have to go with just this, uh, with this CSS. So I'm replacing this CSS, okay, with this CSS. So I'm going to save that. As you can see, that goes, okay, and we still have our dash 
here. So you can see that was a very clever way of solving the problem. Uh, consider that problem officially solved. If you like this video, please consider to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm bringing more videos coming your way in the next couple of days. So don't miss any of them. Some really cool stuff are coming along. So stick around and I'll see you soon.